Calling order, I'm calling Simon O'Connor. Mr Speaker, I didn't think I'd be quoting Voltaire, but for Dr Graham, can I say, don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. Um, Voltaire was quite correct. There are always ways that we can improve things. I encourage uh, the Green Party to support democracy, to support con good constitutionalism, and to support uh, gender equality uh, in this parliament. It's interesting, too, that we've been uh, talked to by people uh, saying that the youth, people over 50 years of age who have been telling us that uh, the youth are not interested in the monarchy, were in fact the second biggest group of supporters in New Zealand are people my age and younger. We've heard that uh, from one speaker that the 1688 Bill of Rights was a bad bill, we heard from Andrew Little. That was a bill of legislation which allowed Parliament, allowed Parliament uh, to actually overrule the monarchy. We've heard about people talking about the Queen of England. Well, there hasn't been a Queen of England for hundreds of years. We've heard about the Church of England in New Zealand. Well, strangely enough, the Church of England is a problem for the English, not for the strong, independent, mature, bold country of New Zealand, which freely chooses, freely chooses to engage with 15 other realms to share a head of state. And you would think the likes of the Labour Party, particularly the Greens, would like that idea of cooperation, that we freely share a head of state uh, with 15 other nations, which have uh, between themselves a remarkable record of democracy. And just as an interesting uh, fact, for about 70% of uh, New Zealand's uh, history since the treaty, we've had a woman as head of state. That's almost unrivaled in any other place in the world. But I just want to um, really sum up my position uh, with a quote, which I think sums up the importance of this bill, the importance of this bill in constitutionalism, and the importance of this bill for democracy. Excuse me that this is gender specific, uh, but we can always substitute. But Mr. Speaker, a king is a king not because he is rich and powerful, not because he is a successful politician, not because he belongs to a particular creed or to a national group. He is a king because he is born. And in choosing to leave the selection of our head of state to this most common denominator in the world, the accident of birth, people implicitly proclaim their faith in human equality, their hope for the triumph of nature over political manoeuvre, over social and financial interest, and for the victory in the human person. Mr Speaker, this bill comes down to the birth of a child. New Zealand's democratic constitutional system rests on the birth of a child, which this parliament freely and democratically accepts to be our head of state, a New Zealander, a New Zealand head of state. And I support this bill. I call Dennis O'Rourke. Mr Speaker.